It is great to be here with you. Thanks so much for having me. And now, before I get things started, Governor, I want to, uh, I want to wish you a happy Father's Day. Thank you. And to all those folks here in the audience who are also celebrating, happy Father's Day to you. So I hope, you, uh, I hope it's wonderful for you. Unfortunately for me, I lost my father long ago. I was only 14 when my father passed. And it wasn't long after my father uh, passed, my mother turned to me and said, she, she said, you know, David, now that your father is gone, you are the man of the house. You're going to have to step into his shoes, do the things that he used to do. So I started making moonshine and cussing out the neighbors. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, they were great. Uh, my, my parents were great people. I, I really loved them. Uh, they met the old fashioned way. Not like me. Uh, I met my current wife online through a dating website for singles over 50 called Our Time. And I'm glad we didn't wait because they have one for people 65 and over. It's called Time's a Wasting. <laughs> yeah, they actually have one for people 80 and over. It's called Time's Up. That's it. You have no more time left. Yeah, let's, let's be honest, folks. If you're still single and you're 80, it really was you after all. <laughs> but uh, it was weird finding her online. She met me first. She found me first on the internet, scoured the internet, and finally settled on me. Like I'm a cheap hotel room on Priceline. That's how that was. Yeah, I thought I was the love of her life. Turned out all she was looking for was a place that accepted pets and had free Wi-Fi. <laughs> I know, there was no romantic proposal. She just added me to her cart. <laughs> I think she had a, cu a coupon or a Groupon. Well, there was a promo code involved. I know that. So. But uh, it was funny. When my wife's uh, mother found out that we were getting married, she was so thrilled that, my, that her daughter was going to marry a stand-up comedian that she sold her house in Vermont and moved all the way down to where we live in Pittsburgh. And so uh, just this past spring, my wife's uh, brother also lived in Vermont. He decided to move down to Pittsburgh. So next month, uh, we're moving to Vermont. <laughs> I, think I think that's the right thing to do. The one thing you have to have in, uh, in common, you have to have things in common if you want to have a joyful marriage. That's what I found out. You have to, be, you have, to have a lot in common. We do have a lot in common. Uh, my wife and I both love to travel. We both love blues music. And we both have a CPAP machine. Isn't that awesome? Anybody else have a CPAP machine? Can't breathe at night? Yeah, if you have no idea what a CPAP machine is, it's this medical apparatus that you strap onto your face when you go to bed at night. It blows air into your lungs while you're sleeping because you are too weak and pathetic as a human being to stay alive while you're in a state of unconsciousness. Yeah, God forbid the electricity goes off at our house. Or we ever decide to go on a camping trip. I'll have to hire a trail guide with a bicycle pump. <laughs> hey, buddy, you okay? You okay? Hey, buddy, you all right? He stopped breathing. He stopped breathing. It's the tire pump. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. We put these masks on at night. It's like, good night, honey. Good night, honey. It's like Top Gun in our bedroom every night. I know, it's like, I feel the need, the need to breathe. I know, it's ridiculous. And people say, Dave, why would you, a good-looking strapping fellow like yourself, need a CPAP machine? And I'll tell you why. I've got something called sleep apnea. And the way that works for me when I fall asleep, usually on my back, my soft palate relaxes, closes down on my baby-like air passage, and I stop breathing. And after about 10 seconds of this, my brain is like, hello, could you send some oxygen up here? <laughs> yeah, suddenly my brain sounds like Bernie Sanders for some reason. <laughs> we need bigger infrastructure in your throat, universal health care, and why am I not president? I don't know, Bernie. Ask the governor. Sends down chemicals, wakes me up. Now, if you still don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to do an impression for you of what sleep apnea sounds like. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down right here. I'm going to do my impression. 
and you can go ahead and clap when you hear it. So here we go, folks. My impression, sleep apnea. Clap when you hear it. Here we go. Sleep apnea. Take one. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, no, no, wait, 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 that, that's just snoring. That was just snoring. That was just snoring. God, I love your enthusiasm, though. <laughs> but you're swinging at the ball before the pitch has been thrown. So let's try that one again. How about that? So we're going to try that again. Now, sleep apnea, take two. Here we go. Sleep apnea, take two. Here we go. Sleep apnea. If you know somebody that sleeps like that, you better get them a CPAP machine or it won't be long until their time is up. <laughs> and that's my time, folks. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you, David. Burtz. Great having you thank here. Thank you very much, Governor. That's awesome. Thank you. Too many of us know those folks who have uh, gone through all that stuff. Hey, look, if you want to see David Kay's hilarious dry bar comedy special, Time Out of My Mind, or if you'd like to book one of his funny fundraisers, which I think is a brilliant idea, you can do it for your church or your nonprofit. What a great way to raise money and have fun doing it. Go to Huckabee.tv. We will connect you to David Kay.